Hi guys, welcome to Empower In. My name is Caroline Porter Thomas. Thank you so much for watching. And I am so sorry that it's been so long since I've uploaded a video. I actually have a lot of videos that I'm about to upload, but before I did that, I wanted to give you a recap on what I've been up to for the last few years. <laughs> so about six months before COVID happened, I actually started working in an intensive care unit, actually a cardiovascular surgical intensive care unit. And I did that because I wanted to actually increase my skill sets so that I had more things to vlog about. But little did I know, six months later, COVID would happen and then I just got so busy. So obviously with COVID, I was working a lot. I live in the Miami area, so as you know, that was a hot spot for a lot of COVID outbreaks. And there were times that I was working about six days per week. So I kind of had to simplify my life and then time just kept going by and things got kind of awkward about uploading videos. <laughs> so I do apologize again for not being able to upload a video for so long. Now for me with COVID, it wasn't terrible. I actually only had to work with COVID patients for about six months. I give my hats off to all the nurses that worked with COVID for years, but thankfully being in a surgical cardiac unit, we tried to keep that unit relatively on the cleaner side without any infectious diseases because we do take open heart patients as well as many other complicated cardiac cases. Now also, a lot of you know that what I did for a living before was I was kind of considered like a local travel nurse. Um, I did like local per diem. And so when I started my job, it was actually the first time I had had a regular job in 10 years. <laughs> so. I do have a hard time saying no. So as soon as I started working, my director and manager and even the CNO and ACNO were always asking me to do things. And, you know, I have this attitude that if I can do it, then I should do it. And so I was just so, so, so busy with all sorts of things work related, um, which was honestly beautiful. And I love the hospital that I work at and I love my job. So I wouldn't give up anything, um, but I do, miss making videos and uploading videos and using that creative side as well. Another thing that's been happening is I'm actually pregnant with my first baby. Um, let me see if I can give you a belly shot. <laughs> so as we speak, I am 27 weeks pregnant right now and my husband and I are super excited to be welcoming our first baby and it is going to be a baby girl. And so we're getting prepared and excited about that. So when you do see the videos that I upload, if I look a little bit heavier, I am heavier. So just keep that in mind. Um, the baby bump's just getting bigger, so most likely it will just become more visible, which you know we're very, very blessed and I'm very happy about that. Now, one thing that I've also been dealing with was I did have kind of a health issue. Looking back, I'm wondering if that did have an impact on my ability to upload videos because I was just so fatigued all the time. Now, with the pregnancy, we were checking my labs and I ended up needing to go see an endocrinologist, which it just so happens that one of my really good friends is an endocrinologist, so I went to see her and I was diagnosed with Hashimoto's. So that was a little bit um, hard. <laughs> So when I first um, got the diagnosis, my initial plan was just to get off medication as soon as I deliver the baby because I know that the baby relies on your hormone until a certain amount of weeks. But now that I've been on Synthroid for a while, I realize that I think that I was really sick for a long time. For quite a while, I just, I wasn't able to handle much. And looking back, the last few years of my life like I kept saying to myself I have to simplify 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 like like simplify my life and so I think it was just because I didn't really have enough energy to do anything else because my thyroid wasn't working well so now my goal is to get off medication but now that I see how much better I feel on the medication I do want to do it slowly and at a pace that my body can handle so if any of you guys do have Hashimoto's and you've been able to get yourself off of medication by lowering your antibody level, please let me know. I've been hearing a lot of really good reports about people doing like a gluten-free diet or a keto diet and being able to get off medication. So that's kind of what I'm doing now. And uh, my goal is to slowly just 
bring myself back to health, but I would love to listen to any of your guys' tips if you have had success in that area. And lastly, what's coming for this channel? Well, some really cool content, and it's all gonna be ICU focused content. Later this week, I'm going to be uploading a video on how to set up and monitor for an arterial line, which is really exciting. That's a video that I've been wanting to make for a long time. And then I have a lot of other videos coming after that. So if you'd like to see lots of videos on ICU content, please give this video a thumbs up. That's what's coming your way. Please stay tuned and thank you so much for being there. Thank you so much for your love and support and for all the messages and emails and comments. I miss you guys so much and thank you so much for your patience and understanding and I will see you soon. I'll be uploading lots of videos soon. Bye.